Hello, welcome back to Fish Off the Pitch, another week with head coach Jeremy Fishbein. Uh, coach, we had you know a little good news and a little bad news last week. Unfortunately, the bad news is fresh on our mind. Man, sad, sad day. But uh, you know, starting with the good news, had a great performance last Wednesday night against University of San Francisco. Kind of the rebound and the reaction we were looking for coming off the previous game, and I was real proud of our guys. You know, three first half goals. A lot of guys saw action. It was, uh, it was, it was good. But, but, you know, that's not the one that's on my mind right now. We had a tough one last night against uh, University of Kentucky. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of this team. we got a great group of guys. You know, you ask yourself as a, as a head coach, you kind of go over everything and, and uh, you, you look for specific things that have areas of improvement or character issues or guys not doing what's asked of them. And, and the guys are awesome. I mean, these guys work. They're great teammates. Excellent students, very good in the community. You know, you can't ask for anything more from, from the guys. And, and you look for your, you know, you look at yourself as a head coach. You, 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 you talk to your, the guys you get to work with, you know, day in, day out, the, the rest of our coaching staff. And, and it's, a, it's such a positive, hardworking group. And, and it's just trying to put the pieces together, figure out, uh, you know, it's, it, you, you sell yourself short if you say it's a breaks. It's not, you know, you got to create your breaks and it's how, how are guys managing pressure? And we have a lot of guys that, um, put a lot of pressure on themselves and our role isn't to get mad at them or to overly challenge them. It's find ways to motivate them and make them better and make them more comfortable. And I think that's where we're at right now. I mean, last night's game, I, I, I think the hardest thing about it is, uh, we lost an overtime with a minute 23 on the clock. I mean, just kind of ripped the, the, the breath right out of you. But, but, but we had chances, you know, we had really good chances to win the game. And, and not saying that it was a game where we were the better team. I thought Kentucky is very good. Um, we didn't deserve possibly to win, but I don't think we deserved to lose. It was a, it was a game that could have gone either way and we were very good in the second half. But, but at the end of the day, you got guys in attacking positions because they have the ability to score goals. And to win games, you got to score goals. And, and, and Chris Weehan's done that very uh, efficiently. And the other guys have been hot and cold. And, and we need guys to get on a streak. We need them to be confident. We, uh, we got to believe in them. And they got to feel that belief. And I'm optimistic. You know, it, it, it's great. You get to play an excellent opponent next Saturday on the road. And that's who you want to play because this is a very good team. And, and we need those challenges. And we have to be confident. So. And I'm excited for that Old Dominion uh, next week on the road. Uh, what challenges does Old Dominion bring? It's interesting. It's the same challenge that kind of South Carolina brought and Kentucky brought. And, 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 and I think we've kind of uh, been the team that, that you don't want to be in the terms of this uh, kind of traditional West Coast team that just wants to play and connect passes and... and, and um, not as much about grinding things out and being direct. And, and, and in the past, we've taken pride that we could do both. We could play, but we could match that toughness and that intensity and uh, dig out tough games. And we opened the season against, um, you know, soccer playing teams. And I think like for like, we were very good against those teams. And now we're dealing with some teams that say, hey, we're, we're not gonna have a wide open game against New Mexico. We're gonna defend, we're gonna play direct, we're gonna play off seconds and, uh, in order to beat those teams, you got to be really good to play through them and play around them. And, and uh, we haven't been good enough, at least against uh, Kentucky and South Carolina. And that's going to be our challenge because we're going to have a very similar opponent in Old Dominion. Charlotte's going to be similar. Um, and these are very good teams and, 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 and maybe not the same individual skill level, but just in terms of a belief and a commitment and, and uh a way of playing that that is a challenge for us that's that's what we're gonna have to deal with so i mean it's one at a time you mentioned uh some of the other teams in the conference mm -hmm. you know it's a very good conference i think you know five or six teams have been ranked in the top 25 now yeah. at this point so there is plenty of opportunities later in the season for more big wins 
Sure, sure. I mean, it, it's still all in front of us, and we got to be, you know, uh, cognizant of that, that the opportunities are there, and we're good enough to, to win every single game, but it's one at a time. I mean, I know it's kind of a cliche, but the focus is on uh, next week and about being good, not allowing our opponents to get on the scoreboard and, and taking our chances, which will present themselves. So I'm excited for it. You know, it's still... Yeah, a little bummed out, but, you know, you get over it. You've done this uh, long enough that uh, the wins are always painful, but, but you got to quickly rebound and, and, and you got to show belief in your team, which I have. And, and uh, when we get back on the field, we'll be ready to go and the guys will be excited. Uh, you just mentioned, you know, keeping teams off the scoreboard. That's something, you know, you've done very well this year. You know, you were, like you said, a minute 23 away from going 200 straight scoreless minutes last yeah. week. It's, you know, as a coach, you, you don't want to call players out. You know, I don't, it, it's a team game. We got 27 guys, we got, you know, uh, five, six man staff. When, when you talk about, you know, trainers, strength and conditioning, uh, director of ops, I mean, it's, it's a big group and everybody has to contribute. And it's not one or two guys. I mean, there are guys in, in, in key positions, and, and you earn that for a reason because of your ability. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to pick on guys. The guys that aren't scoring who think they should, they're hard on themselves, and they're quality players. And, and I just got to believe that it's going to come, and it's going to have to come at the right time. Um, how about the uh, our team defense with uh... – you know, Jason and goal, and then we've got a good back line. Uh, you got you can rotate guys in and out, different positions. You know. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to brag about your defense if you're not scoring goals. <laughs> it's tough. You know, they gave up one goal too many. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be a team that can score two goals a game. If you score two goals and you're strong defensively, you're going to win most of the time. And that's kind of been our Achilles heel. But uh, you know, we have some ideas and some some ways we can maybe change things a little bit to get matches off on a, a little different uh, speed, you know, maybe play a little bit more direct early on. But uh, like I said, it's a great group. I'm proud of this group. I'm excited to uh, get on the field next week. You know, I wish I was in better spirits today, but uh, that's the name of the game. You know, you win some, you lose some. And fortunately here, we, we, we win a lot more than you lose. And uh, it's a good situation to be in. But uh, I plan on being in great spirits next week, coming off a, a, a big result, and we will bounce back quickly. All right. I look forward to it. Have anything else for us? No, good. Appreciate everybody's support, and uh, we're going to get after them. All right. Hopefully we'll see you here next week after a win. All right. Thanks.